Hello everyone. Um, bought an exact trail um, Pacific Car and Foundry 62 foot insulated box car. Um, these were also known as beer cars. Um, and one thing I noticed when I bought it at the show is the weight is loose inside of it. And so it um, rattles around, and the other thing is it'll uh, tip over when that weight shifts. Now we'll do it. Um, the fun part, obviously, is just gluing the weight back in, but these exact real boxcars, if you flip them over, there's no noticeable seam along the edges. Um, and so the way you get inside the boxcar is actually um, through this roof here. Uh, if you notice, there's a very small seam that runs all the way around it. Um, and so, one of the things you want to be careful with is not to damage the seal. So what I did, to avoid having to pry it or anything, um, so I actually took the car upside down and just throw it down a little bit and use that weight to pop it off. Um, and it might... I mean, it really doesn't do anything. It just pops the roof right off. So now we're going to take a little bit of super glue. Uh, you can see the inside of it there. I will say this. These are very nicely detailed box cars. Um, and so it's probably a good thing you don't need to take the bottom off. Because um, you have all of this. the um, All the piping underneath. Um, and the uncoupling levers and the airlines and all that you don't want to be messing with that so it's a good thing um, we're just gonna super glue the weight here put in and then the roof pops right back on so really simple fix um, didn't negotiate at the train show I didn't think it was a big thing but on hindsight probably could have gotten it for a few bucks cheaper um, I already got it as part of a package deal, so. Um, now, I did read the Model Railroad or article that reviewed these, and they said they were half an ounce light per uh, NMRA standards, but I'm more concerned with the amount of weight my train will pull, so I don't think that is a big issue and from what I've heard um, most people aren't too concerned with being right at the standards so we'll just put that in there let the glue dry and this roof it literally just pops right back on so yep now that'll be uh good as new so hopefully you didn't spend 30 minutes trying to figure that one out but they all have a great evening